Hi, my name is Mariam Kamal and I've joined Sri KDU ever since 2010 and I'm from the graduating class of 2020 and I'm an, a Sri KDU SPM scholar which has scored 11 A's in my SPM examinations. Hello, my name is Shravina Panersavab. I started in Sri KDU secondary school when I was 13 years old, so that was in 2016. When I was in my Form 4 and Form 5 years, I was the head prefect for the prefectorial board and I was also patrol leader for my scouting body. Hi everyone, my name is Ang Gayuan and I joined Sri KU Secondary School in 2016 which was when I was in Form 1. I was also the deputy head prefect in Sri KU Secondary School and I was also the captain for the swimming team. I was over the moon because I realised that all of my hard work had finally paid off. I was also glad that I could make my parents feel proud of me. I felt very, very happy and I felt uh, uh, quite proud of myself for actually achieving these results after going through challenges from uh, examinations being delayed. I was like thoroughly aesthetic. I was really happy to be the top achiever in KDU. Whenever I came across a question that I didn't quite understand, I would either ask my teachers, discuss with my friends, or make good use of the internet to clarify my doubts. Other than that, I often discuss subject matters with my classmates and sometimes we would collaborate and share ideas on a certain topic. For example, a few months before SPM, we had collected most of the 2020 BM state papers, but I couldn't really imagine myself doing all of the essay questions because there were just too many. So I discussed with some of my classmates and we agreed to divide the questions among ourselves so that the workload wasn't too much, but we still got to learn the same amount of content. Also, I was very thankful that I had very dedicated teachers that did not hesitate to, you know, give guidance and, um, you know, whenever I had any problems with the curriculum, especially since now that face-to-face -face learning did not occur during, uh, during the MCO period. And I was also very thankful that no matter what time of the day it was, they would always be able, you know, they would always have extra material to give us, whether it was like through Google Classrooms or in our class groups. I had to discover new ways on how to make studying more effective and more interesting for myself. So that led me to, you know, go on YouTube, go on more study blogs on how uh, to kind of gather more information on how to see more in depth so I can understand the material better. That's actually a lot I learned as a KDU student. But I think the biggest takeaway from me is that uh, don't be afraid of trying something new. Don't be afraid of going out of your comfort zone. I Before getting into KDU, I used to be afraid of talking, like approaching people first. I used to be afraid of uh, taking part in public speaking competition, dancing, or like taking part in a new sport. And I realized over time that there's no other way to improve yourself if you don't go out of your comfort zone. Over the years that I've been a Sri KDU student, I have learned that I should not be hesitant to discover new interests and pursue what I was passionate what I'm passionate about. I'm really thankful that Sri KDU gives a plethora of opportunities for me to do so. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me, especially financially, and for always being there for me. I would also like to thank my teachers for guiding me and sacrificing their time to explain a concept or question to me when I didn't quite understand it. And of course, I would like to thank some of my classmates who provided me with emotional support and also helping me with some exam questions. I'm just very thankful that from a social aspect, Everybody in the school community, whether it was teachers that have taught me, have teachers that, you know, not, not teaching me, still knew how to give us that kind of support, that kind of motivation to move on and keep going with this marathon. Not to forget, I would also like to thank my parents because I would most definitely be not 
would not be in the situation and not the position I am now if it weren't for their support and guidance. The first one being my teachers in school. Like even though the classes were carried out online, they were really, really prepared. So like I never felt like I didn't understand something they were teaching. They were just so well prepared and they knew the ins and outs of their topic uh, subjects thoroughly. And also I would like to thank my classmates. They would just not like waste any time. Like even one minute in cl- like during school hours, they were not waste. They were either revising, studying, or asking questions. So like that made me want to also work harder. It was just like a nice competitive environment where one would push the other to do better. So yeah. <laughs>